Hey there. So, I have a flat tire, right? Okay, so I put air back in it. It held the air. I rode on it and it went down real quick. So I put more air in it. I took this off and I put more air and it was coming out right here around the neck. So that tells me that I have to do a patch around the neck of this, but on the base. So I got to get in here to put this stuff on there. It's just a, little, it's a patch. And, um, yeah, I'll be right back. I'm going to attach this and put air in it so you can see what is going on, okay? Okay, so I have it set for 28 and a half PSI on the bike mode. Oh, I was trying to figure this out for the longest. I was asking everybody, but they didn't know. I wanted to know what PSI to put my wheel on since I'm thin. I'm only like 130 something pounds. So, um, I put mines at 28.5, but... I let some air come out, so it'll be like around 27 or 26 PSI, okay? But this just show you what happens after I put air in it. Okay, it's stuck at three point, um, now it says zero. Okay, so it's, I finally got it up to 25.5 PCI. I'm going to try to go and make it to 28. Let's see. Okay, it automatically stops at whatever you set it to. So let's see how long it's going to stay at 28 PSI. When I first got my wheel, I put my tire slime in it. It has about probably like up to here of the slime left. Um, I actually put more in it this time. And I retightened the the valve in here. I took it out. I put the um, slime in. I put the valve back on. Put the air back in it. And then it deflated. So I retook it out. Then I put it right back in. Put the air in. And it's holding. I went with the tire iron. I mean, with the, the iron. I went. I was about to attempt to take this off to look at my rim I mean my my inner tube to see if it needs repairs because it looked like the, the, the neck was kind of bubbling or whatever so I had got patches for it I was about to patch it but now it's holding up to 28 PSI so I'll give you an update tomorrow how it's, how it's holding up okay